evening, Bismarck United Church of Christ, welcome to our midweek worship. It is such a blessing to gather with you wherever you may be. Welcome to this space, this space made holy by taking time out of your day and gathering with one another to refocus and reconnect with the holy in our lives. I've been thinking all throughout this pandemic and especially this week as we're making plans for how we'll do Christmas Eve services together and how we'll do Thanksgiving together is what is the church really? Uh, you remember um, the old kind of kids game where you'd put your hands like this and you'd say, here's the church, here's the steeple, open the doors, and here's all the people. Except also when we were kids, sometimes we'd forget to do it that way. And when you first teach little kids this, they put their hands like this. And then they start it and they say, here's the church, here's the steeple, open the doors. <gasps> where's all the people and it's all because there's <laughs> fingers are on the other side and there's nobody in the church but really our church has never been just about the place where the steeple is and where the doors open that if there's no people in the church that may not actually be a bad thing if all those people are out serving God in the world. And if they're out loving each other and taking all those pieces that they have learned in Sunday school, that they have picked up throughout their lives, that they have rejuve been rejuvenated with in gathering in community with each other, the lessons that they're renewed in on Sundays and in our midweek worship services and take them out into the world to serve one another. Because that is what the church really is too. We've got some scriptures for you tonight. The first is from Romans and Romans chapter 14, I'm sorry, chapter 12, 4 through 5. So Romans chapter 12, here it is. For as in one body, we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members of one another. When we think about the church in association with that scripture, we can think about all the ways that we are blessed with our different gifts all the ways that we are fulfilled by God and that these many gifts that we bring come together to build the church, whether it's in a space like this or the church is in our homes, the church is out in the world. As we live our lives, we each bring those gifts. And the blessing of doing that in community is that we get to share all of those gifts and be members with one another. Because we each do have different gifts and each of our gifts need things that help it to grow, need ways that we can grow in compassion and love in our understandings of justice in the ways that we can live out the will of God in the world. And those gifts grow best when they're in community with one another, when they're rubbing against each other, when they're learning from each other, when they're challenged by one another, when they're stretched by each other, and when they're encouraged by each other's gifts. In our second scripture this night is from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? You are God's temple. Each of us carries the spirit of God within ourselves. Each of us carries that vision and those gifts and the love that God has given us within ourselves to share out 
in the world. So we're not just the church on Sundays. We're not the, ch the church when we pause on Wednesdays. We're not just the church on the high holy days, but every time we take a step, every time we take a breath, every time we move our arms or blink our eyes, we are the temple of God. In our last scripture reading for this night that I want to share with you is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 20 through 22. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if a member of the church sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times, or seven times seven times, or more times than one can count. The church is about that relationship. It's about the way we love each other, the way we forgive each other, the way we grow with each other. But I wonder what does this community, this community of Bismarck United Church of Christ, this community that you have been nurtured in, that you have grown within, what does it mean to you? What is the church to you? Tonight, Kenley is going to be sharing a little bit about what the church means to her. May it inspire you, and may it start your thoughts going as you think about what the church also means to you. Welcome, Kenley. In the spirit of the storytelling initiatives of the three great loves, love of neighbor, love of children, and love of creation, Kenley is going to share her story about Bismarck UCC. So Kenley, I already said your name. Your name is Kenley. How old are you, Kenley? Eight. You're eight. Oh, okay. So Kenley, what does church mean to you? It means a place where I feel welcomed and loved, and I also have friends, and it's a place where we learn about God. Oh, cool. Okay, so Kenley, what are your favorite memories about church? Um, when we planted flowers in into little pots and we gave them to people at the nursing home, and when some animals came to our church and we got to pet them and hold them. Oh, cool. What kind of animals were they? There's a horse, chickens, ducks, and yeah. That's about it? Yeah. Okay. So what do you miss most about church? We haven't been there for a long time, have we? Mm -mm. What do you miss the most about church? Cecilia and Paulette. Oh, yes. I think a lot of people probably miss Cecilia and Paulette. So we just have one question for you. Kenley, can you remember the question we were going to ask? Would they consider donating to our pledge drive, right? Yeah. So please consider donating to our pledge drive. Okay, thanks for watching our video. Bye. Thank you, Kenley and her mom, Allison, for sharing what the church means to them. As Kenley and Allison pointed out, we are this month in the midst of renewing our dedication to this community renewing our vows with this church, that we are the church with one another. We are the church bound together by the gifts we have to share, by our relationships with each other, and by the love we have for one another. And in that, we vow ourselves to serve out in the world. This church serves in so many ways. As we gather food through Jack's Food Pantry for the over 600 families that are fed each week through Adopt-A-Block program. As we hear people and listen to one another's stories and uplift one another through times of grief and loss and through the greatest of life's celebrations. As we reach out to one another with that great welcome 
that welcome, that no matter who, no matter what, you're welcome in this place, where a place isn't just a building, but a relationship, a community, in which all are welcome to grow with each other, to grow in our faith, to grow in our gifts, to grow as the beautiful children of God we were created to be. And as Kenley mentioned, we're celebrating this month the three great loves of the UCC. Our love of children, our love of creation, our love of neighbor, and all of those grounded in the love of God. So I invite you to be a part of that, to be a part of making that commitment to be in this community. Whether you're here in person, or you join us online, or wherever you may be. Whether you're in Bismarck, North Dakota, or you're halfway across the world, you are welcome. As you go about your evening this night, may you go with God's blessing, and may you go in peace. Amen.